Hello everyone. Welcome to part 2 of Egan value and Egan vector programming using CPP. Now let's start doing necessary setup. Open up your Visual Studio. Create a Visual C++ console application. Set it as an empty project. Once your environment is set up, copy file from your code gen folder to your workspace. Select all the files and just copy paste to your workspace. To know how I created this file, go to my previous video by clicking on the flashcard appeared above. Without it, you can't go further. After copying files, link those files to your project. Add exist item. Select all the dot edge or header files. Now same for source files. Once done, create your main file, main dot cpp file in your project, in your source file section. Hmm. From here, we will start our coding. Before coding into main, let's make a header file which will consist of definition of parent class. Now we will define our class include pragma one's preprocessor this will be the definition for our class this is a parameterized constructor. This is a pointer to the matrix A from main. This will be the pointer to the matrix Egan vector and Egan value. This will be for the order of the matrix. This is a function module declaration. This module will Help, uh, help us to set the memory for each and every matrices with respective to the code generated by the MATLAB. Now let's give the definition to the function. Just create an CPP file in your source directory. Now let's include 
all the necessary preprocessor header files source files needed for the project this is all the file you need to include you can find it in your solution explorer now let's define our function module it is a pointer to a function it is a module generated by matlab you can find its declaration in emxapi.h file and definition in emxapi.c file respectively this function act as a data type which will point to the address of real 32 bit matrices here we need three matrices for user data entry then eigen vector and eigen value respectively so we will we will declare more two pointers of this type next we will set order of matrix by calling 32 bit initialize function this definition is provided in emx api.c file so we will pass the reference of the pointers one by one with its number of dimension which is 2 dimension or order is 2 before going further i would suggest to before going any further i would suggest you to go through the definition of emx functions used above now we'll set the size of the matrices zero index represents row one index represent for columns similarly set size for remaining all matrices till now memory has not been allotted for that we will require function similar to malloc or calloc for for that emx ensure capacity function will help us to do it this function works similar to the calloc function you can find the definition of this function in emxutil.c file 
Similarly, alert memory for remaining matrices. Now just copy user data to matrix X. Once done, call the get eigen function. Here Y and Z matrix will collect eigen value and eigen vector. Now just copy the data of matrix Y and matrix Z into eigenvector matrix and eigenvalue matrix. Here important part of the coding is over. Now we have to just display the values. So now let's go to the main CPP file. In main just include basic preprocessor and header plus the header we created. Now we declare all the data field needed and code the basic steps. Now we create object for the parent class and call eigenmemalloc function which will allocate the memory as well as call get eigen function internally. Now we will display the eigenvector matrix and eigenvalue matrix. And that's it. Now let's compile and see if there is any error. Okay. Now let's resolve it one by one. By one. Uh, I think oh, there is a spelling mistake. These all are related errors. Yeah, again there is a spelling mistake here. Should we any limit? Now let's compile and see. No seven errors to go okay and semicolon oops we didn't defi uh, define the constructor let's define it the semicolon here yes. now let's see if there are any more errors so 
for build a successful before compiling take a note that eigen vectors should be accepted in a column wise format so make a change here instead of i into n plus j make it j into n plus i or you can swap this j or i everything is fine now let's compile and see an example let's take a 3 by 3 matrix let's input the data 3 2 4 2 0 2 4 2 3 and it's done Egon vector may be in approximation format so so just don't worry about it thank you if anyone wants any such numerical solution or have any challenging task please do comment so we can work out solutions for it thank you